What's up y'all? Captain Jody, Bayou Bandit Charters. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, check my channel out. I do a lot of inshore fishing, rod and reel, flounder gigging, bow fishing, how-to cleaning videos, a little bit of everything. Check me out. If you like the channel, give me a subscribe. I appreciate it. It really helped my channel grow. Today, we're gonna clean some flounder. Uh, went out last night after one of my charters, wanted some flounder for the family. We hadn't had a good fried flounder fish fry in a while. So went out and got some flounder. Uh, smallest one is 15 inches. Biggest one's sitting on about 19 and a half. That's about the size you find in this time of year. The bigger boys are moving in and it'll only get bigger and better. We're gonna start out with this guy right here. Good, nice meaty flounder uh what we're gonna do is you want to spray that fish off get some of that slime off of him and these are some of the tools of the trade i use get these products off of amazon i really really do like this knife sharpener it's got a uh a coarse medium and fine uh you really need that when you're cleaning fish you can just hit it about three or four times on the course a couple of times on the medium and then the fine and she's ready to go i use a dexter russell beef skinner knife they make a stainless steel one but i i like the carbon even though it rusts up i think it holds a better edge uh we'll get into what i use the catfish skinners for in a little while and if it's a small flounder 14 inch or under i like scaling my fish and uh, checkerboarding the top and frying them whole and a uh, stainless steel wire brush is the best thing i have found for getting all those little scales off both sides of the flounder and i could not live without my bubba blade uh battery powered fillet knife I do not like the blades that come with them. They're too aggressive. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're getting the meat off a big fish, you want that aggressive blade. But I only use mine for getting the meat off the skin. And the Piranha, uh, Mr. Twister Piranha blades are an exact fit. And that is a wonderful combination. What I do is I get a, uh, I go to Home Depot and get one of the welcome mats that is perfect it keeps your fish from sliding around the, the last thing you want is your fish sliding all over the place when you're trying to cut him and work on him so we're gonna get the, get the slime off the fish i start white side first that's what i like doing i, I clean a bunch of these y'all what i do is i score a line just like that around my fish that aids when you're cutting that fillet off where it doesn't get into the little side fin bones so i go in make my cut and with this dexter russell with that curved blade i can get in here and with my index finger on the backbone of that knife i can feel every bone and i'll just get in there and i'll just work that blade back and forth i try to get all the return out of my fish that i possibly can that is the ultimate goal right you don't want to waste any meat on your fish so i get right there to that backbone i just let that knife hop right over that spine you have a little bit of bone right there you can feel that with that knife just go up and over that little bit of bone there's your bone you have no bone in your meat and you just keep working that blade back and forth and to get all the meat off that fillet and now since you got your scored line you can run your blade right down that line and you've got no bones no bones here all the bones are right there by making that cut around the fish <clears throat> now we're gonna flip him over we're gonna give him a little a little bit of spray down there and do the same thing on the other side take your knife go in score that fish all the way around same over here score that fish all the way around 
come in here where the bone structure and the meat meet. You can feel it right there. Go in, make a cut. Spin your fish around. And you can feel, like I said, you can feel all that bone with that knife. A lot of people will get electric fillet knife and just go in and start cutting. And you waste so much meat, y'all. I try to get all the return I can off of these fish. Feel that little bone structure right there? Go up and over it. Got your bone, no bone on your fillet. Then you flip it around, go into that line that you cut, and that knife will just ride right over those side bones. So what you have is a clean fillet with no meat wasted. And that's what I love doing, y'all. Now we're gonna work on getting the skin off our meat. Now we'll take our fillets I use stainless steel catfish skinners. I'll leave the link to all these items, all my tools of the trade in the description below and where you can purchase them off of Amazon. I take these catfish skinners, I grab the very tail end. That way I'm not cutting myself. It holds it good and firm. That's the best thing to use when y'all are filleting out fish. And I'll take my, my Bubba knife. Go in. And that's clean, y'all. There is no meat wasted at all on these fish. And that's what we want. That's what I want for all my clients that go out on these gigging bow fishing charters with me. I want them to get their money's worth and get every ounce of meat that they can get from these trips. And then what I do, I go in and I just cut cut them into four fillets right on that line and there is there is no bone at all on this meat it's quick it's easy it's efficient y'all and uh that's how i like cleaning my flounder i've done it a long time i've done a lot of flounder and to me this is the best system it works out very well uh if y'all want to come out on a flounder gig and bow fishing charter Alabama or Mississippi waters by you bandit charters phone number right there 251-465-1598 we'll get you on some flounder thank y'all I hope y'all enjoyed the video see y'all on the next one